I mentioned this, and then I lined this up as well. It's four minutes long, and it's Anna Kasparian. Forgive me, but you might find it funny. Totally, by, yeah. By the way, I have to say something before I forget. You guys really did me dirty with something. Oh. And, wow. Yeah, so oh. you guys did a stream, I don't know, oh. months and months ago about <laughs> some law tuber like uh -huh. named Nick Ricada. And I thought it was like such a juicy story that I started like reading about it myself and uh, watching some videos about it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, it's like my guilty pleasure drama <laughs> I've been following very closely. And I like know who Aaron Imholt is from oh, Steel no. Toe Morning Show. Oh, who, no. by the way, like did he was just he was just indicted yeah for a revenge yeah, porn for revenge. yeah yes. he did revenge yeah. porn on his stream and he like ended up getting indicted for it that story is like the gift that keeps on giving it is how amazing. did he do revenge porn on his stream what do you talk how, okay. how do you do that okay so this is what happened um finally we talk about the issues that matter yeah so of course. uh so nick <laughs> Nick Ricada was this or is this like law tuber right. who became more and more prominent at, as he was covering high profile cases like the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp one. I think the Kyle Rittenhouse one as well. I didn't yes. know about him until you guys covered that whole thing that happened mm -hmm. recently. But so uh, he and his wife end up swinging with Aaron Imholt and his wife. Aaron Imholt is the host of that steel toe morning show thing in right. Minnesota. So they all live in Minnesota. They start swinging. What appears to have happened is they seem to have like kicked Aaron Imholt out of the polycule or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But they were sharing messages with each other on signal. And I guess Nick Ricada's wife had shared some racy images of herself in that signal chat. Aaron mm -hmm. Imholt saved it. And then after oh, no. uh, you he know, showed the, those on stream, he didn't show them, but he sent one of the photos to another person that was on his stream. And like they were talking about the image and he said something along the lines oh, of like, man. your boy didn't do too bad, did he? Or something like that. Oh, and wow. so and by the way, this entire time, he's been like really running his mouth about the Ricadas and he about has, his yeah. now ex-wife. And so I was like, man, you are playing with fire because you have done some stuff on your stream that I'm sure they can use against you. And guess what? They did. And yeah. so he ended up getting it. I mean, it's they just they they don't know how to stop. It's amazing. Like it's the train wreck that you can't look away from. It's I even so started reading Kiwi Farms about it. Like, I've no. <laughs> so, oh, no. my God. No. You've gone down a dark path. I can't I know. Follow. I know. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, after we covered it, kind of the original drama, I haven't, like, really bothered to keep up on any of these updates. What? So it's, Sitch, how it's, dare you? It's funny it's that so you've become, good. like, so engrossed in this. Everyone needs a distraction. It's like the perfect yes. distraction after like a long day of, you know, producing and hosting TYT. I get to come home and it's like, oh, what's what's the latest? It's a juicy <laughs> drama. Yeah, I see yeah. Nate Delore talking about all the time. I'll have to catch up on it. But, okay, that's yep. hilarious. We'll see if Ricada gets out of it. So mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah we've look, had we've a... had Ricada on the show before. Uh, Sitch argued with Ricada over the the elector stuff right the trump elector stuff the electors and the um the rumble uh fuentes stuff so i showed this for the obvious reason that uh Anna if Anna Kasperian is so willing to um admit this freely then that bodes well for the the site in general i had a theory and i think i even said this i don't know if anyone wants to go through the archive and find something that um by me saying this, but I, I think I even said, like, if we can survive Drop Kiwi Farms, that would be the end of the dark time. Because once once that happens, if we manage to get past that, then it's kind of like, well, the, the forum becomes a fixture of the internet. It's no longer like this dark, evil website that nobody can talk about. It's like innate. It's a quality that exists online. It's like water. <laughs> you know, you can't complain. Why? How can you possibly complain about water existing? You know what I mean? Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.